Hey y'all, and we're back for another session of Live with Astronomer. Um, PSA for any uh, long-term attendees, people that are uh, turning in weekly, uh, these will start moving to a Tuesday schedule soon, and I will be gone for the next two of them. Tragically, I'm going on a little vacation, um, but keep tuning in, gonna keep dropping knowledge. Um, also, always like to call attention, we have the Airflow Summit coming up, fast approaching in mid-September, so if you want to attend, tune in, um, get your ticket now. I'll drop a link in the description. Um, but the point of today's uh, Live with Astronomer is showing off the Airflow Templates extension. And so what this extension is, is basically, or if you're using VS Code, it's a way for you to eliminate the need to actually type out S3 operator, all the different fields in the correct format, um, don't need to do that anymore because this will auto-complete and build operators for you, um, the shells, and then all you need to do is just insert the information for your relevant fields um, and you're off to the races. So what I'm gonna do is just show you quickly how to download this, how it works, and then we'll test it out by just creating a DAG as quickly as we possibly can, uh, just to see, hey, let's have some fun with it, you know? Um, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do to actually set up this uh, extension is open VS Code, um, and then go over to the extensions menu on the left here. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is just search for Airflow templates. If you just search for Airflow on its own, uh, it won't actually show up. Uh, it will show up here because I've already installed it. But uh, when I was actually looking initially, this did not appear. Um, and so you can see here in the release notes, this is all the different supported providers um, that are available. It's got most of the big ones. Um, I was testing it out earlier. I didn't really find any ones that weren't supported. Um, but if you do, let me know and we can see about getting them at it. Um, and so once you've installed it, so just install it, it'll automatically um, be put into practice on your uh, open directories. Then what we can do here once it's been installed is for when I want to write a DAG. So, you know, typically you have to define all the operators, um, do all that fun stuff. What we can do is just say, hey, I want to set a beginning and I want to use the dummy operator and boom brings in the dummy operator for me. Um, this isn't dependent on what else is in the stag. This isn't dependent on anything else. This is just pulling from that uh, repo. So you don't need to do any like additional setup here. Um, so then after we've set, I want my dummy operator, task ID equals begin. And now after we've gotten our beginning task, so what we're gonna do here is build an ETL pipeline with Snowflake, Salesforce, and HighTouch. Uh, I'm not going to bother actually running it or bringing all the credentials. I'm just going to show you how quickly like this makes building pipelines and just like writing the code for it. Um, so then we're going to say, hey, let's upload some Salesforce data, data to S3. And we're going to use the Salesforce to S3 operator. Boom. Now see, it's got all my field relevant fields filled out. So I can put in what Salesforce query I want to execute here, my S3 bucket name. Um, so my S3 title name. So I can just kind of copy and paste these in here. Have them ready up, but eliminates again. Seeing you know, don't have to actually write all the code necessary to implement that. Just have that automatically filled. Delete any other fields that I don't actually need, um, and I'm good to go. So correspondingly, upload, so I've created that upload operator. Now I want to truncate Snowflake. So truncate equals Snowflake operator. So here, bring the Snowflake operator. You can see again, it's going to bring in all the connection details I need for this um, particular operator. And then we can do a copy operation. So let's do copy uh, from S3, set that equal to S3 to Snowflake operator. So S3 to Snowflake down here. Uh, again, bringing all the parameters I need. We have these, lock up the full screen. And then we are going to load some Snowflake chain, staging data. So load staging data equals Snowflake operator again. And then we'll refresh that reporting table. And then we're gonna wanna delete some objects. So delete land equals s3 delete objects operator and for this one looks we will just bring in some fields so for some of these doesn't have the full fields in there brought in which is interesting um but it looks like for most of them there are 
Um, and then we have high touch drinks. So we're going to sync our data. And boom, now we have task ID, connection ID, synchronous equals true. Um, so here we're just going to boom. Um, and then we can just set some task dependencies here, real simple like. And dependencies here as well. Boom. So now we've created a DAG, at least the shell of money. You, know, you can go in here and input your own fields. Um, in like three minutes. Um, so it really just makes the process of writing DAGs if you're not, you know, so the Astro SDK obviously is really good for, you know, making Python SQL tasks easier to write, or you don't have to do like the configuration, but when you're interacting with, you know, standard operators, those aren't SDK compliance, so you do have to interact them using an actual operator object. So here, you know, you have that becoming much easier um, where, you know, I don't actually have to write all that boilerplate code, I just bring in um, that's certain operator. You can see it also will give you the import statement if you need it. Um, obviously, I don't need it for these. Um, so I'll just delete that. But I mean, all that boilerplate code is saying, hey, I have to type all this out for it to actually work. Now, if you're just writing your relevant code, just keeping in touch with, hey, we want you just to be writing pipelines and functional code, not boilerplate code, because that is always you know, what Airflow gets knocked for. So we're trying to eliminate as much of that boilerplate code as possible. Um, and that's really all I had for you today. Just wanted to show you kind of a quick, easy tool to get started, get using with a lot of impact on your DAG writing experience. Um, I know I'm 100% using this going forward um, and hope you will be as well. Uh, so have a good one.